Hey everybody, welcome to the Delivery Driver Pit Stop. My name is Michael, I am your host. I hope uh, everybody's having a great Saturday out there or a good Saturday out there with everything considered. I hope if you're staying home, uh, you're staying safe. Uh, and I hope if you are out delivering, you are staying safe as well, uh, protecting yourself, um, making sure you're wearing protective equipment, staying healthy, because uh, we need to get this pandemic done and over with. And in our rear view mirror, uh, I wanted to talk about an email that I got uh, yesterday from Grubhub. I know some, not, not all of you have got it, but it's a very important email. It'll probably, there's the email. And the headline is, Can, Grubhub for Drivers, continue delivering in your area with a personal, with personal protective equipment. Yes, let me read just a bit to you because this is very important. Recently, health officials announced additional restrictions that require all individuals, including essential workers like delivery partners in your area, to wear face coverings such as scarves, bandanas, or other fabric face coverings when leaving your home. Restaurants must require social distancing when you are picking up food and can refuse to let you enter the restaurant to pick up orders if you are not wearing a face cover. So basically they're saying those of you that are delivering for Grubhub right now, and I'm sure it's going to be, uh, it's going, it's, you know, it applies to DoorDash as well. You need to wear a face covering if it is mandated by the CDC in your area. And what Grubhub is doing, if it is mandated, they're watching all, you know, the counties they're in and if it is mandated to wear face coverings, you're going to get an email like I have here. So in my area now, face coverings are required if you are going to deliver for Grubhub. What is interesting about this as well, if you do not have uh, equipment for this, they have a link on there, which I don't know if how many of people got it, but you can order free. Uh, sorry, that's my uh, laptop laptop here making noises you can order free equipment from grubhub and they will send it to you free of charge face mask gloves and hand sanitizer all you have to do is follow the link in the email enter your information and it will be on its way within they say two weeks does it help you immediately no but i'm sure most of you can have uh if you don't have a face covering can take an old shirt and cut up an old shirt and make a face covering. They got so many videos right now on YouTube about how to make face coverings if you don't have one. Uh, there's a lot of good information out there because with everybody staying home, everybody and their sister are making YouTube videos. That is why, uh, you know, there's so many videos out there. If you want to go out and deliver, um, very easy to do so with face coverings. You just have to... Um, Pop in a video off of YouTube and follow it. I mean, it doesn't even require sewing. I, I watched one where they took a bandana and folded it and took a couple rubber bands. And how they folded it, they used rubber bands and they used they made a cloth mask out of a bandana. If you don't have a bandana, you can take a shirt and cut it in a rectangle and fold it the same way. Or fold, fold it, you know, the way they're showing and make your own face covering. But it's very interesting now restaurants can refuse service to you as a Grubhub driver if you do not have a face covering. Um, they're giving, again, there's plenty of uh, resources out there. If, again, if you do not have, do not have a face cover, make one out of a shirt, order it from Grubhub. Uh, again, we have to be very safe with this. And the only way we're going to get back to normal in this country is if everybody does social distancing. I know it's a, you know, you know, repeat repeatedly, social distancing and cover your face. Um, so that's a very important email. I don't know if some of you probably have not got it yet, but if you haven't got it yet, you probably will get it. So be prepared for it. I would, I was already wearing a face mask when I was going out and like picking up my wife from work or whatever, because in California here, it's when I go to the grocery store, 100% of the people Everywhere is wearing face masks, which is actually great to see because it helps slow the spread of this horrible virus that is causing such havoc on the economy and people. Um, I think that's about it. 
uh, one other thing that's off, off topic I wanted to talk about real quick is uh, this is in regard to my channel and Pete from Pay to Drive's channel. Uh, me and Pete have been talking, you know, we talk all the time, you know, via text and et cetera. Um, I've been shocked, I've been surprised, and Pete's been telling me stories about how him and myself, we are getting flame to hell and back, trolled to hell and back, which is come to be expected for, you know, doing YouTube, but we are getting flame because Pete and I chose to stay home because of our health conditions and not go out and deliver. And so I've got numerous direct tells, numerous comments, some emails that I will not share with you because they're very vile. And Pete's telling me about his videos or his comments he's received and some of the things that people said to him because we refuse to go out and deliver it has nothing to do with refusing it's what we're we are making the best decision for our own well-being and our own health and it's not worth going out and delivering food um to possibly lose your life you know um you know i've i've had comments shame on you uh for not going out and delivering there's all some of us out there are out there delivering and if we can do it you should do it you shouldn't be a freeloader and etc it's just you know, these type of disasters, these type of uh, national emergencies bring out the best in people, but it also brings out the worst in people. So I'm, I'm going to ask you, you know, I'm going to ask those, have the inkling, have the, um, want to uh, flame me or, fl you know, uh, send me nasty emails. Don't do it. You're wasting your time. You're, you're spending more time doing it and more energy doing it than I'm reading it because I've simply just banned you from my channel or delete the email and ban you from my inbox. So you're wasting your time. I really don't... You need to stop doing it to Pete as well. Pete doesn't make videos such as this saying to stop it because, uh, you know, that's not a thing. But I'm going to stick up for Pete. And anybody else that's doing this as a, a, a YouTube creator, quit flaming us for, if we choose to uh, not deliver... Uh, I understand uh, some of you think we should be out there delivering. If you, you know, if if I can do it, you should be able to do it. I'm not 18 and I'm not healthy as I used to be. I'm not sick, but I'm not as healthy as I used to be. So please stop doing it. It's it's just wasting your time, and it does nobody any good right now. Leave me, leave Pete, leave everybody else alone. If you got nasty, as my mother used to say, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. You can hate me all you want. You can flame me all you want. You can arrow down, thumb down, whatever you want to do. I don't care. Just lay off people for making the choice to stay home and stay healthy so they don't lose their life. It's that simple, folks. Um, I think that's about it. Um, I have... If you've noticed, I've cut down on uh, videos as of late. Uh, Stuart, my pot belly pig, uh, has come down. It seems he's come down with pneumonia, so I've been taking care of him 24-7 for the last week and a half. Um, I, I don't have children, so I'm, I, you know, I have animals, so I'm very attached to my cat and two dogs and my pot belly pig, so he's like a son to me. So I've been really trying to take care of him, keeping him warm. He's doing okay. He's not getting any worse. He's not running a fear anymore, but he still sounds like Darth Vader when he's breathing. So that's why uh, my my attention has been elsewhere. I've been taking care of him. Um, I think that's about it. Please stay safe out there. Please keep doing what you're doing with social distancing. We will get through this. Hang in there, everybody. God bless you. Happy Easter. And happy Passover. Happy Whatever you celebrate tomorrow, make the best of it. We will see you next time on the Delivery Driver Pit Stop, everybody. Bye-bye. Take care.